Let me start by saying I really want to say a sincere thank you to both of you for making me laugh again and again. And I just really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You know, they're Uh, uh, making a a new Spinal Tap. Are you aware? Sir, I am very aware. I I couldn't. I am. I am over the moon, actually. And I just pray they don't fuck it up. It's risky, right? It's a risky venture. That's a classic movie. I probably read about it on Collider. Right. Yeah. What what is colliding on Collider? Uh, the best way to say it is it's where cinephiles and fandom meet. Oh, ah, okay. That sounds good. But yeah, I agree with you. Spinal Tap is a masterpiece. Yeah. It's, a, it's an 11 out of 10. Yeah. It, it, it needs, you know, and they're playing with fire, but if they do it, great. People do not seem shy about playing with fire in this business. When you think of some of the remake attempts of all-time classics, you're never going to get close to what happened the last time. Well, human beings have a tendency to rationalize, right? Mm. It's, it's, it's like, you know, you stopped the TV show. M- many people could rationalize, well, you know, what about, well, you know, I don't think we should do it, but everyone else thinks we should do it. <laughs> you can rationalize anything. Yeah, and let's also make the point that a remake of something people have heard of is an easier sale to a studio. Mm-hmm. It's an easy sale because that worked once. Maybe it'll work again. And they're dumb, so they would they say yes. And then there are some remakes that are okay, right? Really? Like, well, they're more accepted. Like A Star Is Born, they're fine doing that over. I mean, don't they do a Spider Man every six months? <laughs> 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 Not every six months, but yes, they do make a lot they of stuff. They do. They do. We're taking really you off to... a subject. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was your it's shirt. Okay. Your listen, shirt I, distracted me. I, I, this happens to me in a lot of interviews. Oh, yeah. Uh, l- listen, it, I know, Jerry, you are a serial connoisseur. Yes. So um, believe me, I, I'm aware. If you could only have one or two cereals for the rest of your life, what are the one or two? And this also applies for you, Jim. Well, it's really not that hard. I don't know why I'm rubbing my forehead. It's quite easy. Um, Frosted Flakes, Honey Nut Cheerios, and uh, Raisin Bran Crunch. Those would be my Desert Island cereals. Wow. Honorable mention, Life Cinnamon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I would go Peanut Butter Captain Crunch. Wow. Um. I would also go uh, uh, cornflakes, mm. just plain cornflakes, and then I would rice krispies, pe- special K. Um, maybe rice krispies. Rice krispies is pretty great it's if you pretty... know how to make it. Uh, the ra- the proper if you way... know how if, <laughs> if you know how to make it. <laughs> really, <laughs> with rice krispies, you want to let the top kind of get crispy. And then you have three different levels. Then in the middle, it's a little soggy. In the bottom, it's mushy. It is interesting. So th- when my kids eat cereal, like sometimes they'll be reading something and there'll be a bowl of cereal. I'm like, you got to eat that now. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't. You can't. You can't just you can't let it wait. sit yeah. there. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have – this movie's going to make people eat a lot of cereal. It is. <laughs> it is. It really is. So, listen, before I run out of time – uh, there's so many things to talk about, but I have to bring up the Mad Men cameo because I was floored by it. Didn't see it coming until why? Well, I anyway. The point is, how difficult was it to get that cameo in the movie? And talk about getting those two guys. You know, John. It, you know what I mean. It took a it took a little doing, but uh, I happen to be friends with both Johns, and uh, there were certain business affairs uh, uh, navigations that took place. And then there was just a certain a jump off the cliff. Let's just do it. And if they sue us, they sue us. <laughs> yeah. What I thought was so interesting about that scene was how the John's characters tonally fit perfectly yeah. for this absurd world. Do you know what I mean? So these Matthew right. Wiener yeah. crafted characters... <laughs> fit yeah. in this kind of you know it's silly world yeah, yeah yeah it's true they it didn't seem 
impossible. And in fact, it made perfect sense. Yeah. I got a couple of Madison Avenue guys coming in. They never yeah. miss. Yeah. And they came in with that attitude <laughs> yeah. that they had on the show. And that if was... you don't like our idea, there's something wrong with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. And just the, the, the cranked up sex appeal thing. <laughs> I remember Ed Sills like, you, you know, we're a kid's cereal company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm already out of time. I'm just going to say congrats. And uh, I really hope it's a huge hit. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Time. Thank you.